My name is Roland Sands. I've been in the motorcycle industry pretty much since I was born. I've been building custom bikes probably since 19, 20 years old. I started building custom bikes and built a Sportster, a full custom Sportster. Before that, I would always like kind of build my dirt bikes and I built a jet ski and I was always building motors and building cars. And I think Yamaha chose us because we build, you know, really highly functional motorcycles. We build bikes that we don't just take a bike and chop it apart and hope it works. We know it's going to work before we do it. Um, the project has to take about three weeks because that's when it has to go to paint. So we are in a definitely a threat in thrash mode to get this thing finished up. Um, it's going to be a it's going to be tough to get it done, but we're going to we're going to lock in and make it happen. I have a bank in my head of, of ideas that I kind of save and I just kind of keep this stored amount of energy uh, in my brain to kind of use in different places when we have different things like we have to solve a problem. Well, let's look into the memory banks and see what we got and see if we got something that satisfies it. You can see from the sketch we're really working to kind of maintain the stock elements of the bike, the frame, the motor, the swing arm, all existing. So is the front fork. Fuel tank used to be here in the tail section. Now the fuel tank is going underneath the swing arm. New subframe, new tail section. So we got rid of the fender and we're going to just build a nice clean subframe right here. Um, exhaust is going to come out and up and over the tail section over the rear wheel. So we're going to do new shrouds where the old shrouds were. This is a pretty wild setup. We're going to maintain the stock airbox setup. So we're figuring out how to rerun a lot of the, the cooling lines and everything. We got kind of a start for a cooling line here. A major change that we're doing is adding the clip on. So we're removing the high bars. Headlights bitching. So we're going to, we're going to maintain that and we'll keep that, we'll keep that headlight in there. We're probably going to try and utilize the stock mount as well for the headlight and uh, reshape it. Our modifications will affect the riding style of the bike. It used to be a high bar bike and now we've kind of dropped it down and given it clip-ons. So it's almost like more of a relaxed sport bike now with clip-ons on it. I really like the way it sits now because you really sit down into it um, and you're, you're kind of leaning forward a little bit where before it was more like a more chopper style and now you're kind of down into it more aggressive head down stance. Um, we're chopping it up a lot. It's gonna be pretty bitchy. Build went well. I think we accomplished exactly what we set out to do. Um, I mean, if you look at the sketch versus the bike, it's really similar to what we set out to do right from the beginning. And we wanted to clean the thing up and simplify a lot of the lines of the bike. And I think we did that. It's like 100 pounds lighter than the stock one, um, and that's a guess, but <laughs> as much stuff as we took off of that bike, it's a lot lighter than the stock bike was. So I think it's going to work killer. And it's a lower handlebar position in the front, it's a little bit more aggressive. Um, we stayed with narrow rear tire, and uh, that's going to make it so the thing handles really well. I think, I mean, you, you can't look past that power plant, the thing's just burly. It's everything a motor wants to be, you know? Huge horsepower, huge amount of torque, just endless, endless revs. Um, I mean, it's just a great, it's a great power plan. And the VMAX itself, after working with the thing, it's really just looking at how high quality everything is and how well engineered everything was. We were just talking about today and it's like, you know, I've worked on so many bikes and, and when you work on the Yamaha, it is just, it's a pleasure to work on. They're so nice. You can just tell that the engineering was done right with, with the entire machine. bike is, uh, is still a very stock based machine um, and what we did was try and highlight the coolest part about the bike which is the motor while simplifying the line the rest of the lines of the machine um, and also lowering the hand position to more of a clip on position so I think what we did was we took an already aggressive bike and made it much more aggressive but did it in a much simpler way. A press launch was cool, you know, it's, it's always fun when you're like working on a bike and you know you're going to meet up and there's other people building, you have no idea what they're doing and uh, to actually get here and do the whole thing and have everyone be as psyched as they were on the bikes is a, it's a good experience. I think I'm going to hold on to this one. Yeah, I mean, I, re I rode it after we finished it and it, it's a handful, it's a super fun bike. I mean, it handles good, it runs good. Um, 
it's as fast as it is, it still feels like you can control it and ride it, you know, and I think our version of it makes it even a little bit more rideable, so I'm excited to actually stay on the thing. Yeah. Oh, you know, both those guys are really talented. I mean, I like to see other people's ideas and takes on things, you know, it really shows how, you know, my style is different from theirs and they do totally different things than I would do to a bike. So to each his own, you know, and I, I love that about building motorcycles in general.